Hello, Print Fan. Welcome back. I almost didn't record this video because I wasn't even thinking about it. But I do think it would be helpful to someone. So let's jump right in. So this is a piece of leatherette, but it was all it would also work with leather. Underneath just my cover sheet, I've got the easy heat seal, which is just this double-sided adhesive. So it's adhesive here, and then it's got adhesive on the other side, but there's a release liner. So I'm applying it to the leatherette so that I can cut out patches. The size that I bought is 19 inches by 10 yards. So I cut them off into sheets and now I'm gonna apply it. So you apply it at 320 degrees for 20 to 30 seconds. After it's been applied, this is what it looks like. So you can even see that some of the adhesive kind of leaked out on the edge a little. But what it's gonna allow me to do is make patches here and then I can apply these patches using heat to hats. So I found out my old boss has a laser. So I was gonna ship these off to Robert. Sorry, Robert, he's local and he's letting me do it for free. So <laughs> he wants to see how it works. So I'm applying this, then I'm gonna take it over to his shop. We're going to laser the logo onto him and then I'll bring him back and apply him using a cap press to some hats. So hopefully it should be pretty simple, but Let's, let's go get them lasered. I'm back from lasering. I didn't take any footage because I got busy chatting, updating, but they turned out, they turned out crappy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll turn the camera around and show you. So this is what they look like. We pop one out and he kept one as a sample. Then he got a bunch of sheets. We had to do a bunch of testing. He has this test pattern that obviously cut through most of it, but we ended up doing 500 speed, which I think is 100% speed and 10% engraving. And then I don't remember what setting it was for cutting, but I gotta go to the store, get some cleaning stuff, get the soot off so that I can apply it to the hats. My new toy was supposed to show up today, but I don't see it. So I gotta track down the shipping, see where it's at. Hopefully weather has not been a problem. But I'm gonna get some cleaning supplies and then we'll see. All right, I'm back from the store. Here are the things that I got to try. I will link them down below. Denatured alcohol. I don't know if I can link to that one. Paper towels. This stuff really is hurting my insides. Microfiber cloths. Disinfectant wipes. Rubbing alcohol. Baby wipes. Supposedly, based off of an online post that I made, someone said baby wipes work awesome. Baby wipes, one, are the cheapest. And two would be the easiest. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so here goes. Hopefully, baby wipes work. I think it will. It's definitely super jerky, and I might go through a ton of them. But the only thing I'm worried about is it's not getting right there. The grade is. So it's almost like use the baby wipes for the initial, and then maybe try I'm a little stronger. So, baby wipes, it does work pretty well. Let's try, we'll see if a disinfecting wipe 
We'll clean this up just a little bit better. Nope, it does not. Still works. But not any better. Okay. Just gonna pick the towel out. I always buy the cheapest paper towels because they don't have any extra chemical added to them. So just wiping it got a little bit. I'm gonna go get some, I have a, some rubbing alcohol already that's almost empty. So let me get that one first before I open the new one. All right, so I'm just gonna get the cloth wet with rubbing alcohol. Still doesn't seem like it's much better. Let's see how. Yeah, still kind of the same as a baby wipe. All right, denatured alcohol time. To open, pry off. All right, pry. So, just got the very edge. That did it. That got those little finicky spots. So, right there at the bottom, and then right there. So, it looks like I'm going to use baby wipes to get the most of it like the majority of it off. And then I'll use denatured alcohol to get kind of the fine detail. All right, Print Fam. I'm getting the footage ready for Cam to edit. And I realized that I didn't really end this video. It was kind of because I filmed the Making Patches video along with my Hotronics IQ 360 Fusion thingy blah, blah, blah my new cap press. So, if you wanna see me apply one of these and see how it worked out, I will link below the Fusion 360 IQ hat press video where you can see these patches be applied. They turned out great, the customer loved it, posted it to my Instagram, and I already got a few more orders for them. So, highly recommend this process, it was Key. It was awesome. The one thing that I didn't mention in the Hotronics video was after I started apply them, basically what I found worked best. So I'll use this cap press as an example. I would hold the patch up top on the heat platen just to warm it up a little bit. So I would put the hat on, which the lower platen was heated, and then I had the upper platen heated as well, because that's what you can do on the 360 but I would hold the patch, so I would take this patch and I would hold it up here. And what that would do after 10, 20 seconds, it would make the adhesive a little more tacky. It would make the patch a little more flimsy so that I could put it in place and apply it. So I didn't have to use tape, like I say, in the Fusion video. So they're freaking awesome. This method of using the double-sided adhesive to make the leatherette heat applicable is awesome. So, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for the video. If you guys want to support the channel, you can use the links down in the description, like to the products. So, I'm linking them down below. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect. Shoot!